What's up guys, Mike 16 here and welcome to my world. So this is like a indie horror game. Looks like a, we have to take a psychological profile test. So, you know, let's just do it. I'm putting my name, I, Michael. Once done, click the outside of the name, maybe I press enter. Okay. I'm sick by the way, so I probably sound like crap. <coughs> it's not gonna stop me from making videos. It kinda did stop me though. That's the sad part. I haven't released a video in a hot minute. Okay, so questions. Do familiar surroundings sometimes seem strange, confusing, threatening, or unreal to you? No. Thank you. Your answer has been recorded. Have you heard unusual sounds like banging, clicking, hissing, clapping, or ringing? Yes. Do things that you see appear different from the way they usually do? No. What is the point of this? Have you had experiences with telepathy, psychic forces, or fortune telling? Don't ask. Don't ask. Have you ever felt that you are not in control of your own thoughts? Yes. Yeah, it sucks. You are doing well. Please continue. I do you have difficulty getting the point across because you ran more go off track a lot yes i do do you have strong feelings or beliefs about being unusually gifted or talented some way i feel selfish but sometimes yeah yeah do you feel that you are being watched or that others are talking about you yeah yeah i always feel like somebody's talking about me it has to be one person if i was everybody on earth to talk about me do you sometimes get strange feel feelings on or just beneath their skin like bugs crawling when i take pre-workout but you know not taking pre-workout so no do you feel distracted by distant sounds that you are not nor yes i'm always trying to be aware of my surroundings so when i hear some kind of off-putting sound that i'm not you know focused like not familiar with that i'm gonna find out next set of questions will commence after this wellness break start i right, cool <coughs> don't be scared of the monsters just look for them okay look to your left to your right on your bed and in your cupboard but never look up she hates being seen sick <coughs> like me okay just realized i had a candle I don't remember where I got this, but it's a nice candle. Have you had the sense that some person or forces around you, although you couldn't? See? Yeah, I believe in the supernatural, like demons and angels and all that crap. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was a demon. Do you worry that something may be wrong with you? No, I feel like if anything, I have more perspective than most gen z kids because most of gen z is stupid have you ever felt that you do not exist the world does not exist or that you are dead no but i have wondered why i exist so if i wonder why i exist then i never feel like i don't thank you your answer has been recorded <laughs> oh god are your thoughts sometimes so strong you can almost hear them yeah yeah like somebody's whispering in your ear. Yeah. That's the devil, man. Have you seen things that other people can't see or don't seem to see? I have seen what I believe to be a demon once, but I feel like if someone walked in, they couldn't see it, but I feel like it would vanish anyway, so I'm going to say no. Thank you. Your answer has been recorded. This is like a therapy session. What the... You're doing great. Oh, thank you so much. Keep going. Yeah, I'm doing my best, man. In the last month, have you had nightmares or thought about the event when you did not want? Yeah. Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah. Ugh, this is crappy, man. Wow, now I'm getting depressed. In the last month, have you felt guilty or unable to stop blaming me? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What is this? I see. Thank you for your honesty. Yeah. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. How often do you think about death? Often. I always keep it in mind. There's always an end. 
you have to keep in mind that the people that you love the most are always uh, they're all gonna die one day so you gotta make sure you love them the most you can before that happens because you never know when they're gonna die you never know when you're gonna die so you always want to put the best towards other people you want to love others more than they could ever imagine give them love that they never thought existed well, their father, I, my biological father passed away of cancer before I was born. I never got to meet him. Uh, so, mother. <coughs> okay. What is standing behind you right now? Imagine it's Joe Biden sniffing my hair. You have now completed. Let's go. Built different, please wait whilst we fetch your results along with next steps. Cool. What was that? I am at possible risk for psychosis. Huh. Back to the game. Whoa, jeez. Okay. Uh. Well, I don't like this. Weird breathing. Uh, what, what have I done? I, I shot him. I don't remember doing this. What the is wrong with me? <coughs> I'm dying. That therapist, he must have done something to me. This is insane. Oh, God. Please help me. I need to get out of here. Friday, 24th, May 2021. All right. Some shells. Ooh. Some blood. Weird picture. Nice oh, cops outside. Oh, oh, that's that's great. May twenty third, twenty twenty one, Thursday. I'm so lost. I don't know what to think. The voices I keep hearing. I now see a person flowing above me. Ever since I took that damn TDI therapy test at my appointment, I've been seeing things. Seeing things that are not there. It's just. It's not just her though. The doctor said to keep taking tests at home to see if anything changes, but this one section called the wellness break never changes. It somehow always ends up putting her into a test. The whole situation leaves me feeling sick, shaken, and afraid. Sometimes I don't even remember talk taking the test at all. So it's talking about like a... Yo, he's a... He's dead. Check the cupboards, right? That's what it told me to do. Can I, can I open these? Check the cupboards, check under your bed. Oh, I can crouch. Check under my bed. Can't. But it says never look up because she hates being seen, right? So is she above me? Okay. No, she's not. There's nothing wrong, apparently. Uh, should we go upstairs? We'll go upstairs and then we'll go downstairs. Oh, there's nothing above me. I don't. I ain't nothing to worry about. <coughs> Alright. Let's see. All this plywood. I don't know why. Uh, 22nd May. Wednesday, 2021, the feeling of dread I've had all week has come back again today. I can't shake it. It is driving me insane. I swear sometimes I can hear voices telling me things. I thought therapy was supposed to help not make things worse. My dad doesn't listen. Mom, neither. They both just live in their little corporate bubble. Things are different for them back then. Nobody gets me and nobody is listening. They just throw money at the therapist and ask them to make their son better. But maybe if they had listened to me, they would know that school sucks. Everyone hates me. They think I'm a freak. The freak. Alright. Let's keep moving. Can I run? Oh, I can run. Oh, that makes things so much easier. Time to go downstairs, boys. Alright. Book on the couch. <coughs> May 21st, Tuesday. It was my second day at seeing the therapist today at this new clinic that opened up in town. My mom thinks she... My mom... Blah, blah. Mom says she thinks it would be good for me to talk to someone like a professional. The incident out of school, I guess, was just the icing on the cake for them. Since that is quite high up in his company, he was able to pull a few strings so that I could didn't get suspended. Regardless, though, hitting that in the face felt good. I'm sick to death of everyone picking on me. The doctor did say it's good that I stuck up for myself. I spent more time in the machine today, but something was off. It was as though someone else was there with me. I have this overwhelming feeling of sense of dread too, okay? Alright, what's over here? Whoa, what a trip! The machine was something else. They connected me to some wires with big TVs and they thought brought this huge projector out the projector started showing off some of my thoughts on the screen but before i could watch any of it i fell asleep 
but the experience inside was on another level. I was able to walk around my memories whilst talking to the doctor on the other end. It was like VR but real. I can't explain it. There are some issues that I remember, like parts of the memories being fragmented and refracted. I have another session tomorrow which I am excited for. I just have to take this pill and stupid test at home in between them. That's the test we just took and we took some pills, okay. I see. Anything over here? No, nothing. Look up. Still nothing. Monday, 20th May. I beat the uh, Somalia school today. For the last few months, I've been subjected to physical abuse, name calling, social media threats. Mom and dad won't do anything. They're afraid of what their image will be. So I have to do some, go to some super doctor. Apparently, there is some new up and coming therapy called Targ tar Targeted Dream Incubation. It's some sort of machine that will help dive into my subconscious and get to the root of what I'm going through. I don't believe in this crap, but at least it helps me get out of school. Yeah. I agree. School sucks, man. Went into this room, got that. Well, I guess I, I broke the game. That's terrifying. I'm going, oh, look at that. That's terrifying. I, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Anything, anything, anything. No. Already read that. Already read that. Already looked at that. Okay, cool. So we're just going to keep going. <coughs> Guess that's all that's left to do. Jeez. I, yeah, I'm not afraid. You're afraid. All right, so we're just going to keep going. Already read that. Work. I guess go outside, right? Okay. So we'll go out. Don't move! Get on the ground! Okay. Oh, okay. That was easy. <coughs> good game. Good game. I enjoyed that. Right, that was a good game. It really got me into my feels. Got me to a mental state I haven't been in a while. Would you like to take a psychological test? Right, since we already take it, what if I press no? Closes the game. Cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.